Hey guys, we're My Chemical Romance as the Black Parade, and this is the first day of shooting. Hi, I'm Gerard, and uh, I'm in My Chemical Romance. We're shooting a um, video today for Welcome to the Black Parade, which is um, the first single off the record the Black Parade. We got Sam Bayer to make the video. Sam Bayer, uh, he's one of the greatest, you know, video directors of all time, and he's made some of our favorite videos, like um, Bullet with Butterfly Wings by the Smashing Pumpkins being one of them. Obviously, Smells Like Teen Spirit by Nirvana, um, all the Green Day videos, and we're just really excited to work with them. Hey, I'm Sam Bear. I'm doing my chemical romance, The Black Parade. When you shoot the balloons, you're gonna shoot it underneath the same lighting. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, Last thing I might do is just take all our extras, put them behind the float. Hit me up, boys. You. I sat with Gerard, and um, they brought me into, uh, they brought me into the studio, heard the record, and like, they killed me, loved it. So the idea, this is Gerard's idea, I'm just executing it. Working with Sam Bayer, he's just really, really intense. Um, we walked onto the set and like, everything that we had pictured that he told us that the video was gonna be, it was and more than that. And everybody just did such a fantastic job and yeah. it was really psyched. It's great that we're working with Sam, like he's done some of my favorite videos, Bullet with Butterfly Wings. That was huge for me growing up. We've heard stories about him too, about him doing really, really crazy things on He's shoots. Intense. He's definitely intense. I told you, didn't I? I mean, I'm just trying to get something, man. I'm so right now. Shut are you gonna, up. Are you Shut do? up. I can't go high. I can't go. I'll kill you. I will. What's up with this? He gets intense. I get intense. Right? Intense. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the concept for the record is actually very, it, it's a very tight concept. Um, basically, we become a new band on this record called The Black Parade. Now, we don't have any, you know, names or anything. We kind of go nameless, but, so in essence, My Chemical Romance is becoming this band, The Black Parade. Um, and the concept of the record is it's based off, like, the simple notion of, when death comes for you, I'd like to feel, I believe that it comes for you however you want. And if it's a, a black sedan or a, a guy on a bicycle or a pretty girl or something, it's, it's something. So our character, the patient, um, his fondest memory of childhood is going to a parade with his father. So when he passes on in the hospital at a tragically young age, he is then picked up by the black parade and brought along on this journey. I'm Lucas Haas, and I'm, uh, I'm playing a, a guy who, who dies and uh, goes to uh, chemical romance heaven. <laughs> I, I love the idea that your eyes are seeing into the great, like it's acceptance. Like I really want to see it in your eyes. Then we'll cut, we'll put you in the makeup, and then I think that stuff is like a monster face. It's just like you're in that character. In the first scene, I'm laying in this hospital bed and, and uh, I start to die, and then I die, and the curtains come down, and you see the whole set, and you see uh, this parade coming down the street, and that's the beginning of the video. So when the patient goes, he's in this kind of other place. He's in the city. He doesn't know where he is, and there's this crazy band playing um, that's basically letting him know that he's dead. Hey guys, my name is uh, Mike Alberts, I'm the second AD, and uh, I just wanted to, basically we're setting up for the wide reveal from hospital room to the underworld area, and we're taking our time now to set up uh, all the dead, the extras that have been nice enough to dress and uh, look dead. That wall right there is the set, it's a hospital set. There's a dead, there's like a guy who's supposed to be on his deathbed, he's about to die. You hear the music play, you hear the cameras roll, there'll be a little narrative action. The set will jump up, reveal the whole room, 
And that's your guys' action to kind of be the dead stuff, you know what I mean? Basically, the patient leads the parade. The parade's supposed to be a metaphor for what happens to you when you die. So this is supposedly what happens when you die. If it does, I'm gonna be really scared. I mean, I think we, you know, what everybody's seen is what you guys saw and what the people watching the making of is how we did it to a degree. But, you know, I just went big. You know, it was a big set. Beautiful art direction, great talented crew. And, you know, I'm trying to make this look, you know, I just think it's gonna be a very different looking video. It's ridiculous. Like, we're standing right before the first shot of the Black Parade performing on the float. You know, I was just standing, I was like, this is, this is ridiculous. Yeah, amazing. Like, look at us. And look where we are. So we have the, the, the initial. Do we die? Never make it. I would say no one picks up into the. Stop. No, not stop. The solo kicks in? Yeah, when the solo kicks in. No, right, it's picked up. Yeah. Okay. Can change key? Oh, seriously, I know a lot of bands say this, but we really are just five just guys that, you know, wanted to become something extraordinary and we got our dream. Like, we're in the dream right now. Colleen Atwood, who is, um, she's one of the, I think she's the best costume designer in the whole world. She designed the costumes for Edward Scissorhands, Sleepy Hollow, Memoirs of a Geisha, um, actually so many films. Uh, I can't remember all of them now, but she's my favorite. I actually think she is the best. And um, I did these drawings of these costumes, and uh, she took those drawings and made them come to life. So when we perform as the Black Parade, We'll always be wearing these uniforms. I'm Colleen Atwood. I did the clothes for the band, and the, my people did the masks, and we did the girls, the, dan the three Fear and Regret and Mother War. And we had a great time doing it. We usually do feature films, but this was like a great opportunity to be really creative with the director that I really like a lot, Sam Baer. And like it was great meeting these young guys who are so you know, truly artists, more than in music, but visually and dramatically. It's just been a great experience for me. This is our, wait, no. Ah, one, two, three. Sixth video, this is our sixth video. Pretty psyched. Yeah, we tried, we tried a little different approach this time. Like the last record, we made movie trailers. That was our theme for the last record. And this one, we don't do any acting, I don't think, right? No, I think it's, uh, yeah, it's pretty Just much... rocking out. I'm unashamed, I'm gonna show my spark in the chair For all the broken, listen here song came together because it started out in a completely different form and uh, you know we just weren't completely happy with it and um, we kind of like molded it into what it became now and what I love about it is everybody really pushed themselves to the limit with this song and kind of challenged themselves while we had a previous song that everybody loved we pushed ourselves even harder to make it better and everybody came up with great like new parts that were even better than the previous and uh, you know it Everybody just put their all into this song, and you can really hear it. Like it's, I mean, it's just fantastic. I, I love, the, I love what everybody did on it, and it, it became larger than life. Like this song is straight up larger than life. The way I try and do this stuff is do it live. You know, I think that's what you see. It's like, that's why there's a giant backdrop and a giant set. So that takes more time, not to just rely on a lot of post effects. That's what makes this, this stuff harder. We we were just very ambitious with this job. You know. Um, there's no room for, for uh, there's no room for error. Yeah, that no way, for... the transformation too. And the transformation can be separate, can be a close up. Right. So we're looking at the TV to right? Right. Is that what you think? That, that's what I think. So I he's mean, looking that way. He's looking that way, so it's coming at him. So if this is, you gotta think about it, this is the, the scale of the backdrop, and this is all our debris, when we go really wide, that's the scale of the backdrop. So this is the backdrop that they somehow managed to build in I think two or three days. And this is the city of the dead. Um, I think it's beautiful. There's a lot of elements from 
um, German expressionistic films like uh, Cabinet of Dr. Caligari and Metropolis, which are two of my favorite films. It is very ashy to have uh, these special effects like flare things that just uh, blow this dust in your face at all times. And we've been inhaling it for what, like six hours last night and then however many hours today. And I am, I feel like a, an eight year old smoker just wheezing my way to the trailer to get five minutes off. But this is, it looks amazing. I'm just shocked at how great it looks. Hey, what's up? This is Andrew and I'm with Entropic. We're doing the visual effects on the Black Parade uh, My Chemical Romance video today. And then how about okay. this? And then give me a plate of just the blowing around so I can actually like put it. Okay, and let's do this. Start, last little tweak. Start, can I, I'm gonna start the float back here. So basically, once we finish up here today, all the footage is gonna go to transfer. They're gonna take those files. They're gonna put them to digital frames for us. We're gonna get them into the computer. We're gonna work with additional matte painters to actually extend out this set, put some more buildings back here, extend out all this debris, and uh, and basically create an entire world out of uh, just the stage right here. Hi, my name is Nathan Robinson, and I'm a visual effects artist here at Entropic, and I'm here to tell you today about this new video we're working on for My Chemical Romance called uh, Welcome to the Black Parade. Um, primarily, the main part of the job was doing these massive set extensions and adding, you know, digital confetti and these huge balloons that were supposed to kind of be you know, like the kind of Macy's Day Parade kind of style. Once, you know, we got the final edit, we were able to start plugging these in, you know, starting to add, you know, atmosphere, smoke, um, digital confetti, you know, there's zeppelins, you know, all these like little nuances that really kind of help take the piece further. So the end result actually ended up looking like this. Kind of played good. There was, um, you know, so we ended up adding confetti, obviously doing all the set extension, um, adding like the little road in the back and you know, digitally replicating the people. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite shots. It's like the first time I heard the record, we met each other. I mean, this is like, you know, yeah, it's synchronicity though. It's like, I, you know, I heard this record, loved it, had to do it, met these guys, and you know, it's like, this is a, this is a labor of love. I just wanted to say something to the guys. This is kind of crazy. It's like a culmination of a lot of stuff, and this is like a this is this is like a uh, it's our dream, and this is the biggest we've ever seen the dream. So it's just a really amazing, special moment for us. I'm a fan, you know, of rock music, and um, I think, you know, working with people like My Chemical Romance is I know I'm part of something exciting and big and maybe like a cultural event. I just think it's just crazy, and I want to get it. I want to see it done. It's the same thing with the record. You like, you get to a certain point in the record, and it's awesome making it, but you want to like, hold it in your hand and, and say like this is the completed record, it's all done. I kind of feel that way right now too. Like making a video is really, really fun, but I'm more excited to see the end product of it. I'm telling you, it's like I really truly dig this band and um, you know people are gonna flip. They're gonna flip when they hear this record. <laughs> When I was a young boy, my father took me into the city to see a marching band. He said, son, when you grow up, would you be the savior of the broken, the beaten and the damned? He said, will you defeat them, your demons? Did 
Come on.